So here we have the germanium receptor and basically the setup for um, for a skull session. So we have the, the receptor here, which is a germanium receptor. Um, it's, it's based on the original design, but we scaled it up so that we can actually do more things with it. Um, you, can, you can see you can actually lift this up and you've got the coils in there, everything else, the germanium elements in there. And we're, and we're using these terminals. This is actually um, variable, so we can apply a different amount of pressure to it in order to get different results from, from the speakers. You'll notice if you know anything about the original receptor that there's a lot more wires off each of these terminals. And the reason we've done this for is I actually have two really, really thin ones that create that are actually spread out into like little filaments of wire. And we have those fed into the bell jar. That's just in case we get any sort of um, feedback or anything through those wires from the receptor that can actually manifest into in, in the bell jar itself. Um, the, the other wires that we have here, we have a couple that we can attach to items like 35mm film, which has been done in past experiments. Um, we also have them so we can connect them to external crystals, like this one. And we have the, the same on this side. So we can actually um, provide additional sort of tuning. And we, have, and we have other additional ones that allow people to actually hold them so they can become part of the circuit. So the circuit itself can pass through a psychic or a psychic medium, somebody in a trance doing channeling, things like that, or just the participants around the table. We might have four participants, max, uh, you know, that's, that's sort of the max capacity that we would do around the table itself. So we can have four people actually all part of that circuit. Um, some holding crystals, some not holding crystals. We have uh, a K2 meter here, which we would turn on uh, during a session. Um, it, it's not something that we've typically done, but it's something we're going to start introducing. Uh, we do paranormal investigations as well, so we do have a lot of equipment at hand, including a couple of thermal imaging units. So we might actually record the session as a, as a thermal imaging video, as well as, as, well as a, an infrared, and also a regular video. And then we're going to actually going to create a video of each session and post that on YouTube for people to see. This here is just the, the amplifier that we have. So the amplified um, sound from the germanium receptor will be fed into a speaker and then something that we can actually listen to and then record. We're going to record the ambient sound. So rather than record like a dry feed directly into a recorder, we're going to allow that, that feed to create a white noise, like an ambient background noise, and then record that. Uh, and at the same time, we can play meditation music and stuff like that in the background just to create more of a, an environment. So that's the receptor. That's how we're going to be doing our skull experiments. So it's it's a new skull experiment that we're trying. So the, the room that we're actually doing this in, it's, uh, it's, it's perfect for this. It's actually my Reiki room. And I say Reiki because it's uh, it's a combination of Reiki and Wicca. So it's uh, it's Reiki. So that, that part of the room's all the uh, the wicker side of things. And you can see all my books are there and, and everything else and the altar's over there. And then this side's all the, the Reiki side of things. So we have a it, it's a... it's an old house. It's an old century home. So it's full of weird shapes and, and everything else. But it's um, it's a nice comfortable room. And actually the door there leads to a full-size closet. The whole length of the room, it's about three three foot deep, so I'm going to turn that into a psychomantium. So we can actually do some psychomantium work in there, which I've, I've been doing for a number of years. So anyway, this is the skull. We will be posting videos of all the sessions, so you can look for some of them in the future. And I hope to bring you some evidence, or whatever we find, it's, it's yours to see.